Storyline 2 is a firm favorite at Four Point, and we're always looking for ways to create engaging content that can be built using its features. Recently, we've been playing with Fuse, a new 3D modeling application from Adobe, and we came up with the idea of creating a 3D character and linking the output to Storyline's slider to create a rotating interaction. To get started, we created our character in Fuse. There are countless options available to customize your model, allowing you to control details such as the height and shape of your character. You can even choose from a range of facial hair options. Let's undo that and take a closer look at things. Once we were happy with our character, the next step was to upload her to Mixamo. Mixamo is Adobe's web-based auto-rigging software that takes the heavy lifting out of 3D character animation. We chose an animation called Right Turn 90 Degrees to allow us to rotate our character. Next, we downloaded her in the Kalada file format, identified by the .dae file extension. The great thing about this file format is that it opens up directly into Adobe Photoshop. And the best bit, with an Adobe Creative Cloud, your character is saved to your library, making it even easier to import your 3D character. The next part of the process was to get the character from Photoshop and into Storyline. To do this, we had to render our animation. In the render settings, we opted to export our animation as a Photoshop image sequence using the PNG file format. This gave us 49 individual PNG images, each a different view of the rotation. Next, we inserted the first image from our Photoshop image sequence into Storyline. We then edited the state of the image and added the remaining images from the sequence as a series of new states. Once the 49 images that made up the rotation were in Storyline, we needed to link them to Storyline's built-in slider. To do this, we created a series of triggers to update the variable associated to the slider. On closer inspection, you can see that the slider is changing the state of the main image when the slider's variable is equal to a specific value. In short, every time the slider moves up or down, the associated variable updates, and when the variable updates, the state of the image changes. As impressive as rotating 3D objects are, all the bells and whistles are redundant if they can't be used to enhance the e-learning experience. With that in mind, we extended our demo further with interactive markers and a multiple choice question to provide an example of how to use 3D rotation as an appropriate solution in an e-learning setting. As you can see, the entire workflow used to create this example was really simple and demonstrates just how far you can take your e-learning content with a little imagination.